Hey, in this video, you'll learn how to create and manage guides to align elements in your projects with precision. We'll cover how to add horizontal and vertical guides, move them around, hide them without deleting, and even remove them individually or all at once. Hey everyone, after you open your documents in GIMP, you're all set to use guides to help you align elements precisely. Look at the ruler along the top of your document window. This ruler allows you to add guides and measure distances accurately. Move your mouse pointer to the top ruler. Click and hold the left mouse button on the ruler, and while holding the button, drag your mouse downward onto the document canvas. As you drag, you'll see a guide appearing. Keep holding the mouse button until the guide reaches your desired position, then release the button to place the guide permanently. You can add vertical guides too. Move your mouse pointer to the left ruler, click and hold the left mouse button on the ruler, and while holding the button, drag your mouse right onto the document canvas. Release the button when the guide is in the desired spot. If you need additional guides, you can repeat the same process. Alternatively, you can move an existing guide. Move your mouse over the guide until the pointer changes to a hand icon. When it converts to the hand icon, click and hold pressing the button to select the guide, then drag it to a new position. There are more specific uses for guides. Click on image in the top toolbar. Then select guides from the drop down menu. Let's start with new guide by percent. A dialog box appears. This time, choose the horizontal orientation. Then, enter the desired percentage value in the position field and click OK. This will place a horizontal guide at the specified position in your image. And do the same thing with the vertical guide. Select the vertical orientation and click OK. This will place a vertical guide at the specified position in your image. Let's go back to guides again. This time, choose new guide. This option allows you to add a guide to your document. Choose either horizontal or vertical based on your need. And click OK. For a horizontal guide, this will place the guide at the top of your document at the specified position in your image. And do the same thing with a vertical guide. Select the vertical orientation and click OK. This will place a vertical guide in your document at the specified position in your image. If you want to hide the guides from your document without deleting them, simply go to view in the top toolbar and click on show guides. This will hide all guides from your document. To display the guides again, go back to view in the top toolbar and click on show guides once more. This will display all the guides on your document. If you want to delete individual guides, move your mouse over the guide until the pointer converts to a hand icon click and hold, then drag the guide to the left. This is for vertical guides, and for horizontal guides click and hold, then drag the guide to the top. Release the mouse button once the guide is out of the image, and it will be removed. Repeat this process for any guide you want to delete. And to remove all guides at once, click on image in the top toolbar, then select guides from the drop down menu. This time, click on remove all guides. This action will instantly remove all guides from your documents. Thank you for watching our GIMP guides tutorial. Today, we learned how to create both horizontal and vertical guides using symbol drag and drop methods and the new guide options. We also covered how to move, hide, and delete guides individually, as well as how to remove all guides at once. I am hope these tips help you achieve more precise alignments in your projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe or follow for more tips and tricks on GIMP. I'd love to hear about your experiences or any questions you have in the comments below. Until next time, happy editing.